Back then, when I was teaching young learners in a face-to-face -face setting, there was this one activity that I did and everyone loved. But now we teach online, right? Well, guess what? That activity is actually a lot more suitable to be done online. Um, we can use it for vocabulary as well as speaking practice. And I call that activity the swing. Let's start. Hi, Bapak Guru Bahasa Inggris. Semoga semua baik-baik saja ya. My name is Ali, and today we are going to experience professional development by looking at one activity that I call the swing. Ini loh Pak Bu, ini yang the swing yang saya maksudkan. So we have the swing that goes from right to left and right to left and so on and so on, and it doesn't stop sampai kita bikin stop. Uh, Bapak Ibu cuma harus nonton video ini and then at the end of the video I will tell you where you can find the link to download this PowerPoint. Silakan di-download. Kalau Bapak Ibu mau memodifikasi PowerPoint-nya, go ahead if you want to just download it and then use it in the classroom. Silakan. No problem. We can use this swing for vocabulary practice. Say we teach young learners online and the topic is fruits. What can we do then with this swing? Alright, so you can just open your class, have a small chit chat, tell the students that today's topic is about fruit, and then show your screen. You might want to use the following instructions. So students, look at my screen. Yeah, what do you see there? You don't know that? Okay, it's actually a swing. Now show me your finger and follow the swing. Right, left, right, left. Good, just follow it. Yeah, great. Okay, so now uh, I will show one picture on the swing. Are you ready? Okay, I want you to guess the picture, okay? Ah, what do we have? Don't say it, wait, wait, wait until the swing goes to the fruit. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Banana, good. Okay, what fruit do you see now? Don't say it, apple, good. So, so wait until the swing goes to the fruit, okay? What do you see? Wait, melon, good. What else do you see? Wait, orange, good. What else do you see? Wait, yes, great, great. Now, for variation, you, we can always speed up the animation. When you download the PowerPoint that I prepared for you, you can actually have several slides. One slide will move the swing in three seconds, and then the other slide will move it for two seconds, one second, and also 0.5 seconds, only for the variation purposes. Now, for the face-to-face -face teaching, you can just play the PowerPoint, same as we did just now, and then simply project your laptop to the wall or to the screen, and then ask two students untuk berdiri di masing-masing ujung swing. Ini akan lebih seru ya kalau misalnya uh, this activity done in a face-to-face -face setting. Pak Bu, for all the students, kalau untuk anak-anak yang gedean, we can actually use swing for the speaking practice. Misalnya, the topic is about inviting someone to do something, okay? So, do your presentation, have some drilling of the expressions with the students, and then ask them to have uh, some practice making the dialogue. Invite two students as one pair to make a dialogue about inviting someone to do something. After that, invite another pair. After the second pair, then invite the third pair. Now, when you invite the third pair, start introducing the swing. Tell them that the swing can help them think faster and also be more fluent in saying the words because they have to speak it a bit faster than the usual, right? So, student A should start speaking when the swing goes to him, and then student B should start speaking when the swing goes to her as well. At first, maybe just play the swing to them so that you know they kind of get used to it and they're not stressed, okay? And when they are ready, then ask them to start making dialogues. Bapak Ibu Guru Bahasa Inggris, so what do you think about the activity? Is it easy? Is it challenging? What kind of problems will appear when you try to do swing in your classroom, online or offline? Leave the comments below. While you do that, Pak Bu, like this video, subscribe to the channel kalau Bapak Ibu belum subscribe, and share this video with your friends biar manfaatnya kemana-mana. 
Now, I leave the link for you to download the PowerPoint in the description. So go there and then download it and then use it in the classroom. Bapak, Ibu, kalau misalnya sudah dicobain, good. Kalau belum, cobain yuk. Good luck.